from earth to fire and back again is the basis of the biodynamic preparation. So here we're taking the same diagram, earth, water, air, fire. I'm just adding a little chemistry and a little plant physiology. In the realm of the earth, we have the carbon forming, the carbonates. Carbon is then the ash. And the ash has been burned free of its previous patterns, we could say it is sort of the plant as a mineral, even though it's considered a whole function as the mineral realm, because the carbon is selfless. And because it's selfless, it gives of itself to everything that's living, with all the carbonates. And in order to do that, it has to link up to life and to fire. And we, we don't have time to really get into the chemistry of, of all of this, but the life is carried by the oxygen, the fire is carried by the hydrogen, we have CHO, and we have carbohydrates. And the carbon serves as a kind of uh, sacrificial lamb for the creation. The carbon gets burned out and becomes selfless. And when it becomes selfless, it attracts to itself all the possibilities to support life organic chemistry. And there are certain plants that have an affinity to the carbon process when it comes in contact with the mineral. 